All right, thanks, Darius. Making headlines now, doctors from Georgia, South Carolina, and across the country, they're taking aim at reducing gun violence in our country. The American Medical Association is adopting policy that targets what it's calling a public health crisis. News 3's Martin Staunton joins us now with what you need to know. Martin? The AMA's leaders and members say they're frustrated with lawmakers' inaction on gun violence, so their policymaking conference is taking on this issue. The AMA's House of Delegates is holding its annual policymaking meeting. Chicago is the backdrop as they vote to push for an assault weapons ban. When it comes to guns in schools, the doctors want them to remain gun-free zones, and they're against arming teachers. Immediate past President Dr. David Barb says gun violence is a public health crisis, adding, quote, every day physicians are treating suicide victims, victims of domestic partner violence, and men and women simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. It doesn't have to be this way, and we urge lawmakers to act, end quote. They voted to modify existing AMA policy to recognize the roles of firearms in suicide, encourage curricula development for doctors on suicide risk assessment and prevention, as well as discussions on lethal means safety counseling with the families they treat. One local firearms retailer says the AMA's prescription to fight gun violence is bad medicine that doesn't treat the real problem. It's the person behind the weapon that's the problem. And that's what makes the issue of gun control or cutting down on these mass murders, suicides so difficult. You're looking to be able to try and control people. Now, in the entire history of the human race, who's been able to do that? But do the opinions of doctors carry more weight with lawmakers? Just because they're helping to save the people that are getting shot, um, I don't think a doctor should have more to say than any other citizen. I think anybody who can weigh in and reduce the crazy gun violence that we have in America is important. If, if people will listen to doctors more than other people, then God bless them. It's not the first time the AMA has addressed the issue of firearm safety. For more than two decades, it's been recommending numerous solutions to address the problem. Martin Staunton, WSAV News 3.